Welcome back to the vlog. Welcome to the vlog. It is Wednesday and I just got in from a run in the rain. Okay. The goal was to run 15 to 20 miles this week and I haven't ran one. Ran the first mile way too fast. What was I thinking? It's about to storm. I'm thinking, should I keep going? Did I go to rain? Oh well. Oh my God. Oh my God. Soaked and wet. And thank God I got a towel and a hoodie in here. So, um, yeah, I did a 5K, a little bit over three miles for, for about 35 minutes or so. I have socks. It started raining and lightning. I don't do lightning. Socks are just, I haven't played in the rain or ran in the rain since I was a little girl. And that felt amazing yet crazy. Yeah, I wasn't sure if these were waterproof, so I had to take them out. But yeah, so we will try this again on tomorrow. I'll probably get two more miles on the treadmill when I get home, and that's it. I'm out. And there's a couple of things I want to do today. I have a new furniture piece I want to share with you all from Tribe Signs. Shout out to Tribe Signs for sending over a coffee table for me to review for you all and for me to enjoy my home. So I am about to run out and get some groceries. I want to put a few things in the refrigerator. I also want to see, I don't know what we're eating today. I don't know what we're eating today. We will probably do like chipotle bowls today. So it will be something easy like black beans, corn, maybe like a pico, some guac. If we can find some avocados on sale, some rice. And am I going to do like a mushroom with like peppers and onion? Maybe I will. Maybe we will. I want to be full. I haven't eaten anything yet. So I'm probably going to grab a banana. We don't have any almond milk. So I can't make me a um, smoothie, smoothie bowl or anything like that right now. But yeah, and I kind of need something. I'm hungry. So hair is up in a messy, wet bun right now. And yeah, I'm about to head out. I also want to make some changes in the other room. And I told you all this on the video we did with the kitchen clean out, the declutter of the countertops. The next step probably is to go ahead and declutter some of these cabinets and just donate as much as I can and just try to live towards a more minimal lifestyle and not have as many things. Even though I love all the things, I don't need this many things. Right now I have my pan over there because I just got through harvesting some okra yesterday. I need to cut, cut up for the refrigerator. But yeah, today's gonna be a good day, no matter what. I know it's raining. I have a ton of reading to do for my schoolwork. A couple of responses on discussions, a discussion to create a <laughs> post, oh my God. And, of course, I'm filming. So, I hope you enjoy this vlog. I need to go and check the comments on the last vlog for me cleaning my kitchen and you all hanging out with me for fall. i just been so busy. I didn't even realize how much schoolwork I was going to be hit with. I've been busy. So, I'm back from the store. Just got through having a meeting with Nama. Y'all, I'm so sleepy from my run, but... I did pick up a few things for our bowl tonight. I'm going to keep it real simple and easy. I got some corn and I have a bag of cilantro. I like to put cilantro on my uh, taco bowls. Maybe I will insert a picture of my bowl. I did see these in the little like markdown section at Kroger. So I'll just chop all these up and just saute them and whatever's left over. It's all good because... I like to put like sauteed onions and peppers on my salads and stuff. So that's going to be good. Corvus had moved up grapes on sale. So y'all already know it's a moon drop season. So I hope I'm about to be a moon drop girly. All right. I did get some canned black beans. I know I never buy anything in the cans. So I like to cook my own, but we keep it simple tonight. And there's no salt added. We're going to add our own seasoning. We don't have any more pickled like um, jalapenos with the carrots can, so I bought that. Don't feel like cooking. Yeah, listen, school is whooping my butt, but 
I got these packages for the rice. So I have one just the jasmine rice and one is the cilantro lime. You know, I prefer a cilantro lime in my bowl, but just in case the kids want the jasmine, we just have both. It's all good. I got an onion to cut up to go into the bell peppers. Oh yeah, and I found another bag too, so we can add a little bit of color in here. And I put something in the refrigerator, I'm sorry. I saw this on sale at Kroger's. It is, I guess it's Boathouse Farms cilantro avocado dressing i had never heard this before it is a yogurt based um, dressing or a dip i don't do dairy like this but i figured the kids might like this i'll try it anyway just to see what it tastes like and drizzle on top of like the salad but it reminds me of another like dressing they will use like a chipotle or something and then i got two of these the cabo fresh spicy guacamole um containers yeah two of these I decided to go ahead and put a pack of the Baby Bell uh, mushrooms in with the peppers and onions. That'll give us, you know, some protein added with the other protein with the beans. I did pick up the sparkling green apple cherry Celsius. What is this called? Celsius for tomorrow's run. I'm gonna sip on this for um, tomorrow. It's supposed to be like a more of a, what is it, like a green tea energy? I don't even know. Essential energy accelerates metabolism, burns body fat. I don't know, y'all, but uh, no fructose corn syrup, no aspartame, okay, and no artificial color. So, we'll see what this one tastes like. There is a blue and arctic something I had before. It was really good, so we'll see if it gives me a little extra, okay? All of the Chivani milks were on sale. I think they were the, I think with the coupon with Kroger, they were two forty nine dollars or something. So I ended up getting like three containers of this. And then Christopher likes the silk almond with vanilla. I got him one. They were on sale too. But these are the oat milks. So I got three oat milks for like my morning um, coffees, my protein coffee shakes, or my matchas. So... Yeah, so that is the mini grocery haul. We're gonna go into the living room. I'm gonna share with you all a table I have that I just received from Tribe Signs. I've had it for a couple of days now, and because I had one I had to put together, then the second one came. It actually was delivered to the wrong address, and I finally got it put together over the weekend, and I've been using it <laughs> in front of my sofa, basically studying on it. So I'm very excited about these tables. I'm in the process of revamping this whole room. I told you all before, I like my living room space. Um, we started with the bookshelves on this side and just putting like some of more decor, just a few large pieces and not having a lot of like pieces everywhere. But I knew I wanted to start adding like some pops of wood in here. I'm still gonna get another rug. We were just waiting for journey to be of age where I didn't have to worry about her tearing up my rugs. <laughs> Listen, I already had to throw a rug away when she came. So, and then I had to take the big rug and put it upstairs because I was scared that she was going to just shred it. But we will be putting another rug down here. But these are the tables from Tribe Side. I did go ahead and put them together. They're really nice, um, substantial and weight tables. And I just wanted a large table. So when you look at it as one table, for me, as big as my sofa is, which is about 120 inches long, and I'm getting new pillowcases and everything, just so you know, for fall, I'm actually getting some more lamps. I have a list of things I wanna do, but um, I thought it was, would be too small to have one for the size of my room and space. So I got two. So basically, I just wanted to put them together and have them connect. I'll show you. Put it right here in the middle. You can tell I've been on the table. It's kind of it's a little dirty. She's been working on the table. But this is essentially like basically what it looks like. Y'all, I love the tape. I love the rib design like on the side around the base and everything. And it just looks good. I'll show you from a different angle. All right, so from a different angle, kind of reminds you of like a, a kitchen table, but it's just a coffee table. 
And um, yeah, so they were easy to put together to assemble. It didn't take me long at all. It was basically four pieces at the bottom and then the top piece. So this is probably the easiest assembly I've done with tribe size. <laughs> the black going on like I said I want to put a rug down that has like a little bit of hints of like this color some black specks and beige uh, tones and then that way this will pop more off of this orangish brown floor because I don't like these floors we already know that but I can't change the floors it is what it is all right so to bring in some of the black onto the table to make it kind of like uh, like a little bit cohesive I'm going to show you but I'm going to put my table um, right now so I bought these books from that big huge used bookstore here in Houston it's like the warehouse or something like that the used book warehouse and I love books like this where you can flip through and see like art and then this one is a huge I just love the cover of it but it actually has uh, one of our favorites which is horses in it oh my god I'm obsessed with these beautiful pictures that's in here of the horses so when people come, if they actually want to flip through a book, we do have something they can flip through and it says horses. So I love that, maybe that way. I saw this bowl I just really wanted at Target. It was like a gold bowl. You can see the gold inside here. And it had this moss bowl. I think they were like $24 or something. I was like, yeah, I'm not paying for that. I already had this gold bowl that I had spray painted black. I threw some moss in, a little bit of hot glue. The moss came from Hobby Lobby for like six bucks or something. And I'm going to put that in here. I had this cute little bowl I got from Ross. No, where this came from Burlington, I think. For like nine bucks. I wanted something to be able to put a candle. Maybe like my remote or something. Something like that. So, yeah. For fall, I want to go with this scent. It's called White Cranberry Sangria. I bought a couple of these from Burlington. Y'all, I love this scent. I already have it burning upstairs. It smells so good. It's like a sparkling cranberry, like sweet wine flavor. Fragrance, rather. You remember this space? There used to be a glass space. Well, it is glass space. I used to put like cut flowers in it. And then I stopped using it and I just spray painted it black. This is not the decor I'm going to keep in here. This is just temporary. I need to get some picks from like Hobby Lobby or something probably pretty soon um, to put in there. And then lastly, because <laughs> we've been sitting here just snacking and drinking like every day, I do have some uh, coasters to put on here. Of course, elephants. And this is basically what my table's looking like right now. And it's just simple. It's working for us. We finally have a large coffee table. I need to wipe it up a little bit more. Currently what you see in here, like a mishmash of things, right? So I know the picture will remain, this sofa will remain, the other sofa will probably go along that wall. I'll go ahead and donate those chairs. Um, the coffee table will remain, I need to wipe it off real quick and the gray pillows will remain the big ones in the back and probably the black ones but these blue ones blue gray color will probably be covered more like a brown color i'm not sure what we're going to do for the accent color for fall this year i do like this color um well i just like this cover <laughs> i think i just like this cover by itself not as the color of it but i like the cover so we use it a lot that's why it's here right now because we were laying up on it and I just kind of like threw it back over there. But 
We're going to probably pick a color for fall in here. I went ahead and took all those mirrors that was up here down. If you remember, I just want this to be less complicated. I just want the sofa, the table, another sofa over there, the rug. I would like to have the lamp that goes like across, like the big lamp that kind of hangs over across. Um, put another plant, maybe on this side. Maybe on this side. And like I told you all, eventually get rid of those cabinets because uh, we don't have a lot of stuff like we used to. We don't really have needs for those cabinets. They can go. I just have like small end tables. This mirror is going to be moved to back upstairs. It was just there temporarily to see if I wanted to put a mirror there. And now that it's been here, I'm like, okay, I do like the idea of having a mirror. But eventually you will see this space transform. We're just transformed a little bit at a time. So like I said, eventually all this will be switched out, hopefully before the new year. We'll just see how that goes. But right now I'm liking the space. It's open, it's airy. It to me, it doesn't seem as cluttered or as much stuff as it did at one point. Now that I've taken a lot of stuff off of the shelves or whatever, love that. This will probably go and I'll probably just put a floating shelf here. Yeah, this will probably go too. Like that's empty. It just has all the equipment in there that we use for dog grooming. That's the only thing that's in there, the dog grooming equipment. There's nothing really here in these cabinets. Um, we just have like, here these are like manuals, paperwork and stuff. But a bunch of like scent wax, warmers, just stuff like that. There's nothing that we can't like put somewhere else to get rid of like those warmer holders and going drawers we don't have to keep them these lamps i know penny wanted one of these lamps in her room but they can go to i would prefer like the big tall like floor lamps and not like these cabinets like this anymore i don't want this stuff anymore so i just want to minimize some things like i told you all and get rid of all the extra furniture and extra pieces i feel like the more cabinets and more furniture pieces we have the more I want to put stuff in there, right? So, yeah. For this table, definitely check our tribe size and the sales that's going on right now from the holiday uh, season. And yeah, you never know what you may find. So I plan on doing another fall video like really soon. And it'll be like the little, the mini TV room plus the bathroom with all of the fall decor. I wrote down in a tablet all the rooms I wanted to clutter the cabinets, the closets, and the things I want to get rid of. And it's a lot. And I think we would feel so much lighter and area, if airier, right? If we did just that, got rid of some things. Like this table right here, absolutely obsessed with this table. I think it's one of the best things I've gotten from Tribe Science. It's heavy, it's durable, love this. Like it was a console table, love that. And I love the color of this because of the gray color. It goes with anything. It can go anywhere in the house. So I love that table. We're definitely keeping that table. But as far as like the little knickknack stuff here and there, smaller things, ugh, gotta go. I'll keep like larger vases like this that take up large spaces. But little pieces, yeah, I'm, I'm over all these little pieces. So we'll be working on that really soon. So I hope you will all come back and watch that video and hang out with me as I clean and declutter. So I wanted to say before I let y'all go, I like the fact when you go on the website for Tribe Signs, you can log in and if you see like a cabinet you like or one table, but you need two to make like a large coffee table like I did, or you need two cabinets to make an entertainment unit, instead of buying one, you can buy two and there's normally a little discount attached to it. It's like you get a better deal for me, I think. So I like that idea. And like I said, they're always on sale. They always have really good deals, nice, heavy quality materials. And when it comes to like their pieces, absolutely obsessed with their bookshelves. That's what's in my study as well as my kitchen. And y'all see my bookshelves in my kitchen over and over. They're really heavy industrial shelving units. They also have a lot of new, like more traditional, more modern pieces too on their site now. It's not just like, what do you call that? It's not like um, industrial. It's more nice um, designs on their site when it comes to like their coffee tables, console tables, accent cabinets, curio cabinets. Like they're really amping up their game. Their desks are really nice, which I have one of the desks. I actually purchased that for myself Black Friday. I purchased a lot. The bookshelf in Christopher Room, I purchased from them. 
and I enjoy their pieces. That's why I buy from them. And um, yeah, even the one that's in my bedroom, right? In my bathroom. I don't know. I think I purchased that. They didn't send it to me, right? I purchased that one. So yeah, I I just really like their stuff. And I wanted, like I said, to add like some wood tones in there and take away from always having all this black in the house. Just to kind of mix the wood with the black. So the goal is to have the gray, the wood, the black, and like a cream or a beige or something like that type of tones going on in that room. And to carry that throughout the house. And then as you come into here, the same thing, the grays, the blacks, whatever, maybe with hints of green and brown. And then going upstairs and the same thing where it could be cohesive and it all can like vibe together. Just like we see in my kitchen with the wood tones, the blacks. You see what I'm saying? I want to go ahead and try to figure out a way to carry that throughout the house. So we don't have a bunch of colors and things just going on in the house all willy nilly, right? Yeah, so these are the bookshelves, and like I said, same thing is going on with the tones of the bookshelves, and I've gotten rid of quite a bit on my bookshelves. I don't have as much as I've had in the past, and um, yeah, I like that for me. I'm getting to the point where I'm enjoying having less things and not having an abundance of like stuff everywhere. So like this wood tone, I kind of wanted to tie into that room with the beige chairs. You see what I'm saying? I just want to have everything to flow. And I feel like we just have a bunch of colors all over the house. And I had a bunch of blues and, you know, things going on at one point. And I don't mind them as accent colors. I just want to kind of like tone it down some. <laughs> I'm getting older, girl. I just feel like I just don't want to be uh, surrounded by a bunch of stuff and I don't want to clean a bunch of stuff. And I just want it to be very simple and very demure. <laughs> yeah, we have. We've been sitting here eating chips, salsa. Yeah, we've just been enjoying this table because when I sit at, this, at, my, um, at my sofa, it's like I'm right here. Basically, if I'm sitting here on the couch and I'm sitting here, I have like ample amount of space from here to the table. I can always pull it back. I've heard people say 18 to 20 inches from your sofa to your table. I just feel like this is enough space here. And then you see how my sofa is pretty low and it's still like right here. Like I can reach it if I need to, grab my drink, come back. Put my feet up if I want to, but we don't put feet on tables here. And um, yeah, I love this. It's just, I just love the way it looks. I love the way it feels. I like this coating. Whatever this coating is on there, I feel like it would be easier to clean. I didn't want like wood wood. Like I don't want to have to protect nothing and take care of nothing too much. I want simple, easy um, care when it comes to like this type of uh, furniture. Yeah. So I just want to thank y'all for hanging out with me today. It's been a busy morning. I literally have been running, meetings, emails, checking homework. Oh my goodness. And now filming this video to show you all my new table set that I'm totally obsessed with. And I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you enjoyed this natural, casual you know, authentic vlog. And let me know your thoughts. If you've ever ordered from Tribe Science before, let me know your thoughts on them. And what did you think about the company? I love the customer service. I love the fast shipping. Like, oh my God. And the fact that they're on Amazon, y'all. They are also on Amazon. So you can go straight to their website. Or you can go on Amazon and see all the things they have. And when they have all these sales and these holiday sales, it's something is always popping up on sale. So normally when I want to look for something, I just go to Amazon and click Tribe Signs, right? And all of their pieces will come up. And normally the sale pieces will come up first. So if you're interested, like I said, check them out. But I will put the link down below. And um, yeah, I love this rib detail at the bottom of this table. Everybody who's been over here is like, where you get that table from? I'm like, where'd you get that table? And I'm like, I know, right? They're so used to having that little glass table that doesn't look like it's much of nothing because it's glass and um, you can see through it. And I was so tired of cleaning that table. I mean, let me tell y'all, that table in the fingerprints, in the, oh, I was over it. But anyway, I'm grateful. Shout out to Tribe Signs for always supporting my channel and coming through and, you know, and allowing me to choose the furniture pieces of my choice when it comes to reviewing their 
um, products. And thank you. I really do appreciate you all. All right. So I made my way into the kitchen. It is about a couple hours later since we were talking earlier about the table. And I have my mushrooms. I have uh, sea salt and cumin and a little bit of the cilantro. And I'm going to go ahead and chop up some peppers. Oh my God, y'all hear her whining. I'm going to chop up some peppers and onions and all that to make like a whole like grilled pepper like um, topping or whatever. Black beans. This will be for the mushrooms. This is the corn. This is the cilantro rice. I still have to heat all this. I'm doing a very easy cheat. <laughs> cheat dinner and then you just grab what you want out of it and put it in a bowl basically right now there's chili pepper in the back of the fridge so i'm going to go ahead and chop it up too and add it to the uh, pepper mixtures and then this yellow bell pepper so we'll chop all these all right so i have yellow bell pepper the green a bunch of cumin salt a ton of cilantro in here too and we're just going to cook it down and that'll probably be it the rest of the stuff all i do is heat up and I'm basically done. All right, so I am finished with my bowl. I just did the black beans, the corn, and the cilantro lime rice. Some of the onions, I did a drizzle on that lettuce right there of that salad dressing I just showed you all. The mushrooms, guac, and chips, and yeah, I just did a small bowl. It doesn't look that small on camera, but I just did a small bowl, and that's basically, that's basically what I'm gonna eat tonight for dinner, and then if I get hungry later, I'll just do a smoothie bowl or something like that probably smoothie bowl but yeah this is what i'm about to eat and this is what the kids are going to have for dinner tonight just a healthy option and it's very quick normally i would have did the black beans in a pressure cooker but mm -mm. i ain't feel like it so i'm about to go do my schoolwork and edit this vlog and i will see you all on the next video once again if you're interested in anything from tribe science make sure you check them out what the sales going on right now Make sure you click the link down below and follow them on their social media accounts. And make sure you're following me here on my Instagram and TikTok as well. And I'll see you on the next one. Peace.